Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, we're here, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. As in the last session, we began our journey to completing the Mushroom 13 quest. Which, not gonna lie, is taking me much longer than I thought it would, to the point where I actually changed what was gonna be a entire episode in itself into more than four parts. So, if you've not checked those four parts out already, go check them out in the description place down below. That being said, today, we move on and complete the remainder of the Mushroom 13, which, actually, there isn't much left to do. In our list, we have ourselves, what is it now, I think, five left? Let me check. Yeah, five, five guys left, and these guys are roughly easy from my memory, so we're ending off pretty strong. So, Hadiza! Uh, of course, that being said, we're starting off our next mushroom uh, defeat here in the Christmas Town of Halloween Town. For this mushroom, gotta head on all the way down here. So you can either go from the Santa's house or there or whatever. The one you want to do is uh, head to the Christmas Tree Plaza, and there he is, number two. Press triangle to begin the duel. Avoid the enemy's magic. Spells. And when they say magic spells, they really mean sniper shots. Because, yeah, sure enough, this one is indeed a lot like good old Ziggy. Where he just where he'll just fire random spell shots from his uh, fingers, pew 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 pew, and they are completely random. That being said, these one this mission is very easy. Basically all you gotta do, and it says you only have to avoid the enemy magic spells, an alternative you can do is actually hit them right back at the guy make things much easier. So to do that, I recommend using Final Form for this situation. Let's go. Begin the mission, lock on immediately, and then jump and hold down square. If you don't remember, holding down square lets you do a little hover ability. And when in Final Form, since the Keyblades are in front of you, they immediately deflect all attacks. Yeah, it just makes life easier. Now you can't do this forever, unfortunately. I wish it were that easy. Uh, you'll see what I mean in seconds. Okay, just keep holding this down. Yeah, you don't, I don't think you need to move, really. You're good from the spot. That's until, uh... Any moment now. Oh, no, not that. That's not what I was expecting. There it is. Sometimes he'll do that little trick. And when he does that little trick, best to reflect. Uh, for this, I think you need, uh... I think you need 80 points or higher? Either way, we're getting this on our first try, it's not that difficult. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That also works. Yeah. Honestly, I was not trying that. Yeah. Oh, now we has got a perfect score. Yeah. Just like that, cha-ching, has a and he got ourselves a tent, some dry recoveries, a majestic mushroom, ooh la la, some tranquility gems, stones, and etc, etc. So yeah, definitely one of the easier missions by far. If you really want to build up your uh, drive gauge recovery, I probably recommend doing that mission. It makes life so much easier. This is I have so much of my little form left. I'm just gonna give her these tools because I want my money. I need my money. We need your money, money, money. Spin, spin! Give me them more drive covers. More drive ups. Ah, it feels so good to be overpowered in these worlds. It really does. Even without final form, we can easily wipe these guys out. But you know what's also great? Not having to worry about form anymore because of how many freaking driver recoveries we have. Look at this! 48 driver recoveries! I don't know if that's from doing mushrooms off screen or on screen, but we're basically set in stone. I never have to worry about uh or again. Well, give or take a few things, but you get the idea. Uh, also, while we're on the topic, off screen I grab myself a few more elixirs. Which, if you don't remember, are game from finding those little t uh, T-Rex guys in the Pride Lines. So I recommend doing that if you really want to build up your elixir collection. Also got a bunch of Mega Ethers. Don't remember how I got those in particular, but hey, I'll take what I can take, right? <laughs> okay, so that's one down. Only four to go. On to the next mushroom. All right, next up we're here in the Isla de Muerta for number ten. Or, or actually, I think it's number 10. Actually, I think it is kind of an ironic twist. It's actually number 10 in our list, as well as number 10. Let, let me go check this real quick. 
So yeah, this is number 10 right here. Let's see here. We're doing this one, which would be... Ah, close. Uh, or actually, wait, hold on. Yep! Yeah, <laughs> hey! 10 10 blaze it, man! Who cares about that 2020 business? We got that 10 10 blaze it! Because this is number 10 in the organization as well as number 10 in our list. Well, find and attack her real form. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of funny. Considering 10 is Luxor, not Luxine. Uh, but actually, funny little tip here, or not so much a tip, but a little uh, minor story. Uh, when I was actually doing, uh, doing the first session, I mistook this guy for, uh, I think for Larxene's number. So I came here, like, doing my usual, like, giving you guys the information, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I put down the wrong location. Whoopsies! Um, but yeah, number 10 here. Luxord's little guy. And... Well, tell me if this seems familiar. Uh, before we go into this, make sure you have your Valor form with you, as well as the Oblivion and Starseeker uh, Keyblades equipped. So we're going to go to our Keyblades, get rid of Valor, or not get rid of the Rumbling Rose for uh, Starseeker. Basically, you're, you're going to want a lot of combos for this one. Just make sure that I actually equip them off screen. Okay, good. I am totally good. So yeah, make sure you have as much of a combo as possible. We'll start up in, uh... Oh, gotta switch out the party first and foremost. Come on. We'll start out in Valor form. And here we go! You guys remember Kingdom Hearts 1? You may remember the Black Serenade minigame. Basically, you gotta find the right one and attack it at just the right time. The difference with this one, however, is that, well, one, you're on time limit, and two, you, re you try this if you mess up. Like, immediately. Now, the time you want to aim here for is 55 seconds, and the higher your combo uh, ability is, the riskier you can be with the whole strategy, it seems. All something tells me we're not going to feel through it. But you, yeah, you want to be very... You want to pay attention very... This. Okay, quit, quit. Yeah, you got to be very be pre precise to this one. Just like the uh, Marluxia Mushroom, if we do not get this one just right, you're hosed. We're hosed. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and watch. You know, sometimes it does have amount of luck because of how these guys are uh, switching around. Because sometimes they take much longer than they normally should be. What? That was so freaking middle. Hey, don't hit me. Also, those orbs don't actually hurt you, they just knock you back. They're just there for comedic effect. Here we go! Oh, I lost track immediately. I'm gonna go with number... Uh, I'm gonna go with number... Ah, oh, that's number one, dang it! Okay, falling back. Yeah, might as well fall back. We're definitely not getting 55 seconds that time. Okay, this is gonna be very interesting then. I'll try this time. Go on the Valor Farm, try to preserve our gauge. Yeah. And the thing is, sometimes it is best not to actually, you know, lock on. Because the thing automatically switches out, and then you kind of lose sight. If that's your main focus, then. Let me screw you up. And yeah, check this out. Check that out. That ability. Okay, okay. I think I got it. Last one right here. Oh, what? Wow! How'd that one get? Okay. Okay, I didn't lose you that time. Number one, again. Oh, no. I'm not getting this in five seconds. Okay, so you really do gotta be particular with the time then. At the very least, I'll complete it, so I can get him the freaking churn. Are you serious? How? That was number one. I I freaking said, ugh. Yeah, but you see what I mean? Sometimes they, they delay themselves, and it gets really annoying. Are you for reals? I just want to end this right now. 
Just... That was the freaking... That was number one. That was freaking number one. Don't even tell me it wasn't. That was number one. Like how this one is... Yeah. Middle! Yeah. And die already. At least we got something. But like I said before, it's a good thing I got so many driver recoveries, because I never have to worry about forms ever again. If I can just remember to go in stock instead of actually my usual thing. Uh, using another one. Okay. Ooh, I'm actually hoping that I don't go in the uh, anti sword form. And if I do, I've got more than what I'm going to say. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Seriously, I'm not getting anything. What is, what is Oh wait, no, hold on. What the frick was that? I could have did Okay, I'm confused now. Oh okay. So, where's the wise keep mashing even if it doesn't look like that's the end? It's definitely much better, but not quite what we need. Mm. Okay. Let's try this one some more. As long as I'm going to anti form, I'll be a okay. I'm not sure if I lost or not. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, so one does that. Oh, no, no. Okay, didn't lose you, didn't lose you, didn't lose you, didn't lose you. You're in the middle. What? You were not- Okay, that's BS. I got thrills on this game. And now you're in the middle. At the very least, even if I don't get the ranking, I can at least get myself an extra drive recovery. It's repaid me for my sorrows I went through before. Ah! Okay, I think... I hope I got that one. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a while indeed. Yes, I call BS to that. Restart. That was BS. I know that was number one. You want me? Here, fine. We'll do this. This way we get full, full things. We cannot be confused this time. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I almost hit number two. That would have been bad. I think I got this, I think I got this. As long as I don't miss this last one, I should get this. Yes! Ah, much better. Woo! Okay, so that was definitely frustrating, but we got the actual journal entry now. I'm praying. Just in case, I will check this right here. Oh yeah, we, we got it, because we have the missions and the minigame symbols with the Mickey logo on there. I mean, we're good to go. Alright. 
town back then. Let's see if we can get the, uh, we can ourselves a drive recovery. <laughs> I doubt it, but hey. Man can at least think, right? Ow, 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 out of my way, out of my way. Ooh, will I make it? I don't know if I will. If I take these minor jumps, no, I'm not making it. I'm definitely not making it. Or no, wait. Hey, I did make it, okay. See you guys for number 11, then. Alright, next up we have our number 11 with us rolling. Probably figure out who it is. Back in Twilight Town, to be more specific, at the Sunset Station, which hosts the uh, Sunset Terrace, which also hosts a different Marway. But before we get there, more Pokemon Plus! Wish I had known that earlier. I would have grabbed that first thing. Well, actually, I wouldn't have been able to, would I? I, know, I probably could. I could just take this bus, do the usual jump on command, jump right here, and then click it. Or actually, maybe I wouldn't have been able to get it my second time here. I don't know, it depends on how pushy the game is. Either way, I'm ashamed that I didn't get a chance to grab this, but now that I did. I also grabbed that puzzle piece, as you saw. Now I'm going to be grabbing yet another puzzle piece over here! Right above the little, uh, mirror from earlier. That contained Roxas' shadow. Or I guess anti roxas as I'd like to call I'm also going to head over here, because... Yeah, who knows, maybe there's something I can grab over here. Maybe another puzzle piece. Yes, yeah, definitely another puzzle piece. Ah. Okay, now that little collection moment's all gone, let's move on to the next mushroom. So we gotta head over here to the little underground subway, the tunnel way, there it is. Grab ourselves one more treasure chest along the way, which contains the mythical crystal. And here we have number seven. We're trying to be in a duel, defeat the enemy while avoiding its attacks. And sure enough, being for number seven, Mr. Berserker Lunar, this guy has a good rapid series of attacks. And they are powerful. Again, you don't take damage from these guys, but it's enough to knock you off your feet. So, if anything else, I highly recommend you having final form for this mushroom as well. So let's go into that real quick. Give me strength. While the thing begins, reflect, 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 and keep reflecting. Just keep on reflecting. The record that you need to get is under 10 seconds. If you do that, you're good to go then. And we got ourselves some plain mushroom, tranquility cup crystals, yada yada yada, you get the idea. And while we're here too, a little interesting in detail. You guys remember the underground concourse? Yeah, we explored this place earlier in the series. And yeah, you can strongly enough take the back alley entrance right here to get to the sunset station without having to use the, uh, uh the train. So, very, very good tip to keep in mind. Uh, we're not heading back to sand while we're heading to the usual spot for our teleportation. You got you got to know that you got to know it. Alright, then we're gonna head on over to the world map for our last mushroom. Also, in addition to the Orcalico Plus we got there, there's also another one right here. Cha-ching! Don't know how I missed that the first time around, but I feel ashamed that I did. But anyway, we have the last mushroom in our list. The most difficult by far. Because no matter how much you prepare for, this one stingy. Especially if you do have not been Sephiroth up to this point. Which, you know, I guess spoiler warning, but hey, if you're watching this from my playthrough, then that's kind of to be expected. You, you, you earn that. Uh, but yeah, first triangle begin the duel, catch him off guard, and unleash your attacks. So yeah, number one, fitting for the superior himself, he's a reversaler, and sure enough, he is trouble. Again, unless you've already been Sephiroth at this point, in which case it's actually so, uh, somewhat easy. Well, somewhat easy, I should say. So we're going to switch our Oblivion, and we're going to grab ourselves the Fenrir. Where did I put that thing? It's not here. Oh, that's right, I put it in Master Form, whoopsie. Uh, in that case, I will give you back the... I might not give you the Bonda Flame. And now we'll take that for ourselves. And you'll probably get an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. Once again, I'm going to be really pushing myself of all my combos, errors and otherwise. Going to equip ourselves with negative combo. That's always a godsend. 
And with that, all we'll ever be doing is our finisher. So we go into wisdom form. Give me strength. And this is all we'll need. For trying to begin, and just immediately reversal him. The thing is with this guy, you can only land nine shots on him. That's as a guarantee. And the, re the record is, I believe, 70, uh, 70 points. Now it's that simple, right? Well, it gets a little tricky, like that. The trick here is that you have to get behind him. And now sometimes that'll work, other times it won't. And how often he does the reversal is completely random. I'm not joking. Look at this. Like, the like, human being behind him, I still get hits. BS. That being said, right your game. It's gonna take some time. Then the night of combo is will make it, it much easier. If you don't have it, good luck. I got lucky the first time I did this without Fenrir. Lucky. When I was just practicing it. Past that, you're, you're good to go. Probably best not to have Riku in your party, unless you want to, you know, just spam Dark Aura for the heck of it. In which case, go for it. Go nuts, that's all up to you. Personally, I'm just gonna keep doing the reversal. Yeah, we need 70 score ish. Alright, we need the original score. Yep, and we're not getting it. Okay. Well, before the form uh, gets rid of itself, because I don't want to use drive recovery right now, I'm gonna head on back to the world map. And alright. Welcome to pain and suffering. Ah, it's gonna take some time indeed. So yeah, well, I'll probably over Riku or Goofy, because he's not gonna give me a reaction command. Which is cool as Riku's is, is kind of a death sense to me right about now. Uh, and just to double check that I'm not over... Yeah, it's 70 plus hits, so okay. 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 Let's drive. Go. Yeah, it's completely random how many times he does his reversal. Apparently there's something you can do to make him so he only does it once. But... Uh-uh-uh. If you mess it up once, that, that's basically game over for you. Yeah, redo the entire thing. And again, this only makes things slightly easier. If you were to use Wisdom Form without, like, say, Berserk Charge or something, just do all your regular combo, it'd take, like, three seconds to actually get the whole thing to let off. Whereas here, it's a little more lenient. Ooh, I almost went into combo finish there. Okay. We have to perfect this one. I have to get him right- Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Woo! Oh, yeah, I always struggle with that one. But there we go! That's the last of them. And with that, we're done. Done all the mini games, we can now relax. We can actually relax a little bit. Well, not quite. I'm sure you noticed one minor contradiction to the whole uh, guide, and that's the fact that I didn't actually take on one of the mushrooms. You know, I went straight as I told you guys how I was going. Which organization member they were linked to, and which one I beat or supporter. Starting with Vexen, all the way to Anson, who was our last, you know, defeat. However, there was one that we didn't get. That's right, we didn't get number 13, did we? Well, we say we go run into him. Once you come back here to the Great Mon, you've done all the mini games and get the, hot, the uh, recommended thing. This happens. The guys are praising the sun. Salute the sun! We have ourselves a Let's look up! Meet number 13! The final mushroom. And it gives you one last challenge. Well, sort of. It's ready to go, and he gives you the Winner's Proof. A weapon of extraordinary magic and great strength. Disables the gaining of experience. Which, if you're at level 99, that means absolutely nothing to you. Which, which would be my case. So I'm very curious to see what the hell this is going to be very helpful. Uh, and past that, you yourselves a Proof of Peace and the Mushroom Master Trophy. Uh, the Proof of Peace, Proof of Appeasing the Mushroom 13, perhaps is a ch it has changed Sora. And sure enough, it does. 
For as these guys head on to heaven above, we now have a crown on our head. A bronze crown. This is why I've delayed this stuff for their own separate sessions slash episodes. As you'd imagine, there are three tiers of crowns. Bronze, silver, and then gold, each one linked to their own special things. The mushrooms is one of those things. And there's two more challenges uh, left to conquer. And one of them, I'm sure you guys have been waiting for, involves the Cavern of Remembrance, which will be our next session. Or episode. Depends on how long it takes. Either way, guys, that's gonna do it for this session slash episode. I don't know. It depends on how long this actually is when I get finished cutting. Oh, actually, before we even get into that, because I don't want to forget this, the winner's proof. Really? Extraordinary magic, great Okay, so it's only good at magic. <coughs> <coughs> it's less one than oblivion to strength. <coughs> but that's seven in magic. Ugh, that, that sickens me. That actually does sicken me. Well, anyway, I'll equip it. Why not? Magic could be gotten. Plus, I'd like to try out this new keyblade. See what it looks like when we're fighting hardness. Okay, but now, officially, with that sentence done, guys, that's gonna do it with this episode slash session of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. If you guys have enjoyed so far, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this with your friends, should if you'll need to, and for subscribe if you're new here to channel and join the Dread Knights, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, Ding, Ding, and everyone else, in their quest to complete the remain remaining entries of the Genals by taking on the Cavern of Remembrance and stuff that's much further in the future. You know how it is. But hey, until next time, this is my show for signing out. Have a great your day, take care, and it's over to answer you for our end curse late, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode slash session.